If you love to watch racehorses, then you probably know all about the crazy prices racehorses are sold for. But if you don't really follow the sport, then it's kind of hard to guess how much a racehorse would go for. And that's why today we've gathered for you the top 10 most expensive racehorses in the world, so you'll get an idea of how truly expensive this sport is. In the words of Richard III, A horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. He might not have known it then, but with prices like $70 million, it's not much of a stretch to offer your kingdom for a horse. Are you ready? Well, let's go then. Number one is the Fasachi Pegasus. This champion American thoroughbred racehorse with a pretty name is the most expensive horse ever, costing $70 million. The stallion that was born on April 12, 1997 and was purchased for $4 million by Foseo Sagaguchi. His name is a combination of his owner's name, Faseo, and the Japanese word for one, Ichi, to mean number one or the best. The second half is the winged divine horse of Greek mythology. According to legend, everywhere Pegasus struck his hoof to the earth, an inspiring water spring burst forth. Fu Peg, as the stallion is known by his fans, is the son of a Mr. Prospector and out of angel fever, a mare by leading sire Danzig. This hot-blooded, purebred horse won the 2000 Kentucky Derby. The same year also won the San Felipe Stakes, 2000, the Jerome Handicap, and the Wood Memorial Stakes. And then luck ran out. He lost to Red Bullet in the Preakness. After his loss in the Preakness, he didn't race in the third leg of the Triple Crown, the Belmont Stakes. The same year, he was sold to Irish breeder Coolmore Stud for a reported price of more than 60 million US dollars. The previous record for a stallion prospect was 40 million paid in 1983 for Sharif Dancer. Fasachi Pegasus is generally considered a disappointment as a stallion, especially considering the price for which Sakaguchi sold him. His offspring were also considered a disappointment. He had three that turned out to be grade one stakes winners, which were Bandini, Roman Ruler, and Hera Dusan. He was grandsire to one winner of the Belmont Stakes Ruler on Ice. Poor super expensive horsey. Number two is Sharif Dancer. Sharif Dancer was an American bred British trained thoroughbred and is currently the second most expensive horse ever sold at $40 million. Born in 1980 and stabled at the Gondolphin stables of Mohammed bin Rashid at Makatum in England. Sharif Dancer was sired by Northern Dancer out of the mayor Sweet Alliance and Sir Ivor. When sold in 1983, it was a record price for a stallion prospect. He was bought by Maktoum bin Rashad El Maktoum for $3.3 million at the Keeneland sale in 1981 and then trained by Michael Stout at Newmarket Suffolk. During his racing career, he made over 144,000 lira. He won the Group 1 Irish Derby Stakes at the Carra and then the Group 2 King Edward VII Stakes. His final stud fee in 1999 was 3,500 lira. He died later in the year, May 4th, 1999. So how are you holding up so far? Are you amazed yet? Well, hold your horses. Pun definitely intended, because you ain't seen nothing yet. Number three is Totilas. The most expensive dressage horse ever sold, Totilas has broken numerous records for points recorded during competition. Also known from 2006 to 2011 as Moorlands Totilas and nicknamed Toto, this Dutch warm blood stallion stands 69 inches tall. Totilas is considered to be one of the most outstanding competitive dressage horses in the world and was sold to German ownership in 2011 for $21 million. He's one of the few horses that managed to get over 90 points at a contest holding the world record for a while, and he's the former holder of the world record for the highest dressage score at the Grand Prix Freestyle Dressage. The value of a stallion such as Totilus is based solely on the value of enjoyment the owner derives from watching it win, plus the discounted value of anticipated future cash inflows from breeding, minus the discounted value of future cash outflows. Moreland's Totilus and his rider, Edward Gow, were called by an American journalist rock stars of the horse world. However, the horse has not performed up to standard and has been injured. Number four, Annihilator. Now with a name like that, what more could you want? The lucky owners of the Annihilator are H.D. Woodhouse and M. Secura. 
This beautiful horse is Australian in origin and was born on October 12, 1999. He was reported to be sold for $19 million. Some say that the price was $20 million, but he horribly frustrated the bidders by only winning $3,000 in his career despite all the hype he created. The offspring he created, they didn't have satisfying careers either. He was considered a very athletic horse. Thankfully, due to his beautiful dark chocolate mane, he was perfect for a good show. It's also one of the most beautiful horses, something of an almost mythical creature, which explains the almost 20 million that was paid for him. The Annihilator came from the line of Nyatros, winner of the Little Brown Jug and the Medellin's Pace in 1980, and Wish Me Wings. Hey, if you're enjoying our top 10, you definitely want to enjoy watching more videos on our channel. And you don't ever want to miss the new ones, so you definitely need to subscribe and turn on notifications. Are you ready to continue? We got five more to go, and they're good. Number 5. The Green Monkey The Green Monkey was sold for $16 million in 2006 when he was a two-year-old, and that made him the highest paid thoroughbred horse. A brown color horse with a white stripe on his forehead and two white socks, he's the descendant of Northern Dancer and Secretariat and out of the unbridled mare, Magical Masquerade. He joins nine other descendants of Northern Dancer who clinched the entire list of the 10 most expensive colts sold at auction. He had one filly, later named Your Lovely. Bad luck for the owner, he's considered to be the worst investment of money as he earned just over $10,000 through his career. Later on in his career, he suffered laminitis, which led to his euthanization in May of 2018 at the young age of 14. He was also hopeless as a stud. He was a total loss project and cost about $20.5 million in today's worth. But what we're more interested to find out is why was he named Green Monkey? If you know, let us know in the comments. Number 6. Seattle Dancer Seattle Dancer was son of the famous Nijinsky sired by Northern Dancer, who became the most expensive yearling ever sold at public auction in 1985 when he was one year old. He sold for $13.1 million, which in today's money is closer to $31 million. As a racer, Seattle became champion twice out of five events he took part in It made him a good investment, but he couldn't give the level of output that was expected by his owner. In April of 87, he made his debut race event, where he secured the third position, which took place at the Carra Race Course in Ireland. Seattle Dancer was born in 1987 in Ireland at the hand of the partnership of Warner Jones, William Farish, and William Kilroy. In 1988, he became a stud until 2007 when he suffered a heart attack that took his life in Germany at only 23 years old. This gorgeous horse sired 37 winners. His owners were Starvos Nicaros, Sue Magnier, Robert Sangster, and Vincent O'Brien. Are you ready for the final three? We hope you are because there's some super interesting ones coming up. Number seven, Maiden City. This American thoroughbred with a nice pedigree was born in Kentucky in the USA and is valued at $11.7 million. This racer is owned by Godolphin, foaled in 2005. He was purchased as a yearling and holds the record of being the second costliest yearling in the world. Maiden City, trained by M. Ben Shafia, grabbed the third position in his career first race, gaining the second position in his third event. His sire was King Mambo in his damn Crown of Crimson by Seattle Sloop. He was fairly successful as a stud, but also very beautiful, as you can see. Number eight is Snuffy Dancer. This thoroughbred racehorse was bred by Donald T. Johnson, and he made history as the first yearling to sell for over 10 million. The actual purchase was 10.2 million, worth more than 26 million in today's prices. He never raced, however, despite his impressive pedigree as a son of Northern Dancer, he was rumored to be embarrassingly slow. Aww. Despite his famous father, he frustrated the investors, Ashton Uthorpe Stud, and the owner of Snuffy, who later used him as a stud. But that was also frustrating as he was not fertile. He only sired four foals and three of them had a super short career. His last reported address is a farm in Florida. Number nine, Secretary, or Big Red. At the beginning of his three-year-old year, 
Secretariat was syndicated for a record-breaking 6.08 million, equivalent to about 35.4 million these days, on the condition he be retired from racing by the end of the year. He was the ninth winner of the American Triple Crown and the first in 25 years, setting and still holding the fastest time record in all three races. This race was regarded as one of the greatest in history. In the list of the top 100 U.S. racehorses of the 20th century, he's second only to Man of War. He ultimately was the most influential through his daughter's offspring, becoming the leading broodmare sire in North America in 1992. Number 10 is Jaleel. Jaleel is owned by Goldolphin Stables and is an American thoroughbred who's purchased in 2005 as a yearling for $9.7 million. He is the grandson of Northern Dancer and sired by Stormcat. He was given birth at Mill Ridge Farm in the village of Lexington, Kentucky. Jaleel was, in short, not a good investment. He was only two years old when he first had a race event, and his short career only lasted two years, and he retired as a stud in China. His descendants, for the most part, were not especially notable in performance. Well, there you have it for today. These are the top 10 most expensive racehorses in the world. Now it's time to hear from you. Which one did you like best and why? Let us know in the comments, and it's time to go check the other videos on our channel. Come on in. What are you waiting for? We'll see you next time.